my name is Connie Flores and I'll be reading a book, um, one of Arizona's banned books um, called uh, Like Water for Chocolate. I'm actually appalled at the actions that they're taking right now in Arizona. Um, taking one of these beautiful books out of their collection is, is a tragedy. So I'll be reading um, Chapter 3, March, Quail in, in Rose Petal Sauce. Ingredients 12 roses, preferably red, 12 chestnuts, 2 tablespoon butter, 2 teaspoon cornstarch, corn 2 drops a tar of, of roses, 2 tablespoon anise, 2 tablespoon honey, 2 cloves garlic, 6 quail, and 1 pitaya. Preparation Remove the petals carefully from the roses. Try not to prickle your fingers. For not only are the little wounds painful, but the petals could soak up blood that might alter the flavor of the dish and even produce a, dang a dangerous chemical reaction. How could Tita remember such a thing? Shaken as she was not to get a how shaken as she was to get a bouquet of roses and from Pedro besides, it was the first deep emotion she had felt since her sister's wedding, when she had heard Pedro confirm his love trying to hide it from everyone's praying, eye, praying eyes. Mama Elena's eyes were as sharp as ever and she knew what would happen if Pedro and Tita ever got the chance to be alone. As a result, she had resorted to staging the most amazing acts of prestigidation, always managing to pull off her trick of keeping them out of, re out of each other's sight and reach until today. She had let one little thing slip past her with Nacha dead, Tita was the best qualified of all the women in the house to fill the vacant spot in the kitchen. And in, their, in the flavors, smells, texture, textures, and the effects they, would, they could have were beyond Mama Elena's iron command. Tita was the last link in a chain of cooks who had been passing culinary secrets from generation to generation since ancient times and she was considered the finest exponent of the marvelous art of cooking. Naming her, naming her official ranch cook was a popular decision with everyone. Tita was pleased to receive the post, in spite of the sorrow she felt at losing Nacha. Her unfortunate death had left Tita in a very deep depression. With Nacha dead, she was completely alone. It was as if her real mother had died. To help her get over it, Pedro thought it would be nice to bring her a bouquet of roses to celebrate her first year as ranch cook. But Rosara, who was expecting her first child, did not agree. And when she saw him walking carrying a bouquet for Tita instead of her, she burst into tears and ran from the room. With just a look, Mama Elena sent Tita away to get rid of the roses. Now, too late, Pedro realized his foolhardiness for hardiness. Again, with a look, Mama Elena informed him, informed him there was still time to repair that, the damages. Such a look it was that he executed, excused himself and went off to look for, for Rosaura. Again, like water for chocolate, read it. It's a really, really great book.